previously on Spirit Hunter Deathmark. Huh. All these tests make me feel like I'm back in girls' school. You don't minus the dead bodies. Actually, you don't want to know that lines up pretty well. What f***ing school did you go to, lady? And now back to being demonetized. Hello! Sneako B! Back with some more Spirit Hunter Deathmark. When we last left off, Oh god, we're back to this freaky elementary school again. But at least Hanahiko's gone. Albeit his plants are still here, but eh, whatever, we'll clean up later. But we finally figure out what's going on with all those snakes on the second floor. And because of this smelly notebook I'm carrying around, they just piss off. And while we're up there, we discover the scariest thing of them all. No, it's not this mannequin. No, it's not the snakes coming out of the mannequin. No, it's not the severed hands or any of the deadly body parts. No, it's not the box full of other body parts. No. It's freaking school exams! No! I thought I escaped this shit. I thought I put this lap behind me when I decided on this bullshit job of content creation. <laughs> you can't make me try to go back and remember all my science BS. You can't do that to me, game. What the fuck is an ID5? I don't remember anymore. Truly horrifying. Oh yeah, there's a classroom full of dead animals, but really those tests though. But we also discover uh, another mark bearer in the middle of getting hen tied. Because, you know, the, the game says sir, they realized they hadn't shown us some boobies in a while. Do we uh, bring back to the mansion, clean up her wounds, and find out whose name is Hiru? And is also a bit of a skeptic in this whole supernatural business, which is kind of hilarious, considering the person that was really good at explaining that to everybody else, the inanimate doll, uh, kind of bit the bullet. Which means I guess she's just gonna have to find out this shit the, the hard way, right? Through an absolute jump scare right in her face. But we haven't actually seen Miss Zhu yet, except for aside from like the, the sneak peek that we saw of her, like when they first showed her for like the, the name of the chapter. She's like looking in the window, which looked pretty terrifying. I'm not looking forward to this one. This one really looked, and something about it is just really off putting to me. I really hate those ones where it's like, like you, you barely see like a thing staring at you through a window and you like, you don't even see what it is. It's just like eyes looking at you. It's like, oh Jesus, no, no God, please no. But anyway, last episode, uh, XTNG0914 said, don't know if you've noticed, but Miss Zoo was buying the animals as a spirit. Imagine a ghost buying off animals in Amazon and using a credit card is too hilarious. <laughs> That's actually a really good point. How the hell was she doing that? Did she have a ghost credit card? Did she just like possess some random dude and steal all the money off his account? Did he have prime two day shipping? I have many questions. God damn it, the ghosts are getting too smart. If they're already capable of working Amazon, right? There's just no saving us. But XDN, thank you so much for your uh, hilariously accurate comment that I didn't, I didn't even think about at the top. You're right, that's actually, that's like, how, how did she do that? And it's our reason you are comments of the day. By the way, I guess point out that uh, apparently uh, I was kind of half right with the whole snake uh, smelling thing. So they, they do smell and it, it is actually sort of what I was thinking where they're essentially just like licking the air and then they put it in their mouth and then from there they like they like have like a receptor or something that allows them to smell it from inside their mouth. Interesting. Interesting. My interesting, I mean, man, snakes are weird. <laughs> snakes have some weird shit. And the little slits in their nose are basically just more for breathing, but not really for, I guess, actual sniffing. But okay, so we have Hiro in our part, our party here. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with her, though. I do feel that at some point I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need her, because we have like the sheet music, and she's gonna be the only one I think that can actually do anything with it. That might, might even be the thing that we need to actually appease the spirit as well. But Mary, what do you think about what's going on? And ah, oh, god damn it! Ah. I'm gonna start talking to this chair now. I mean, technically, Mary was an inanimate object as well, so there's no reason why I shouldn't have this chair couldn't potentially talk to me too. Come on, talk to me, chair. Come on, say something encouraging. But the chair says nothing. Damn it. All right, we are getting a nice, uh, hefty amount of shit from this one, though. I will say. But okay, we're time to head back to that school because we just can't stay away. We're gonna go take that third test. We return to H Elementary once more. If Hiro is to be believed, then what we saw in that classroom was Zuka Zukawa's doing. The missing teacher Zukawa. There's no doubt she has something to do with the birth of Miss Zoo. Miss Zoo! She's got Zoo in her name! Let's go. It's unlikely Zukawa is still hiding inside the building. Sounds like Hiro is determined to not recognize the existence of spirits. To get rid of the mark, we have no choice. We have been able to thoroughly investigate the room where we saved Hiro. Probably best to start there. Let's go. All right, back in we go. Uh, I think it's probably best if we go to the right and head up. I will say the game has been pretty good about not like 
having just a dude just standing there right in front of me. Again, if, they, if this game truly just wanted to fuck me up in the absolute worst way possible, that's all they'd have to do, right? Just have that motherfucker stand right there and like, I just don't see him until I'm right on him. I, I, I would shit my pants. I would audibly scream. And then I would curse the game for doing that. For doing the thing that I, I said, I said that it would, it, it could do to mess me up. Uh, this is the music room that we can't go in. I think it's, is it this one? Or is this the one with the test? Uh, one more. Yeah, it was because they said, don't go to the room next door. And that's this one. Right, no, it isn't. Never mind. Back out I go. Come on, where are those dead animals at? They clean up? They clean that shit up afterwards? Huh? Nope, they're still here. Ugh, man, that's a lot of organs. All right, that shit is going to be a mess to clean up. The rest around the floor look fresh, despite having been here for quite a while. I see a, I see a human foot over there, too. Where's the ostrich, by the way? I heard she bought an ostrich. Oh, I fucking hear the ostrich. Holy shit. Wow, right out of my ear, ostrich. God damn. I didn't, even, I didn't even see an ostrich. Where is it? I don't see an ostrich head. <laughs> wow, what are the odds? What are the odds that an actual ostrich would make that sound as I said that? I don't see it anywhere. I guess she just like tried to cut his head off and it wouldn't stand upright because it's got like a weird thin neck. So it's just like, she's just like, you know what? Fuck it, whatever. We're starting from scratch. I don't think it's that thing right now. I think it doesn't have a beak. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. Look at this deer thing. Uh, it doesn't look like anything's in the desk. The animal's eyes are staring at the wall. It almost seems like it's alive. And then he opens his mouth and just says, Hey there! Life's a bitch, ain't it? Oh my god! You got anything in here? Truffling around the desk. Feels something that could be paper. Talisman? Scarf paper. Open and see several sentences. Oh, no. It seems like someone failed to destroy this. Another piece of this. The G fragment. It's the third fragment. Spread them out and stare at them. I can read the senses in each piece, but I don't know how they fit together. I switch them up and look at them again. Then, hmm? By the specific frequency of sound waves. Specific frequency of sound waves, huh? The end of fragment I and the start of fragment G seem to connect and form a sentence. Might be able to read the fragments if I line them up. G.I. We able to find the savior of this creature and ill one fire the we do da ba. Wait, say it again. What, what is it? The end fragment of I and the star fragment of G seem to connect. So start with G and then I. By the specific fre frequency of sound waves. Where the fuck are they even seeing that right now? Oh, right here. Sound wave. I think. Actually, no. I'm not seeing anything about frequency, though. I see sound wave, but not frequency of sound wave. So the end part. This we need... Neat? Something certain sound... Something sound wave. I don't know, man. I don't know. I am, I'm having a hard time piecing this together. What about you, horse head? Definitely look real. I'm not sh sure. <laughs> We're really doubting its, its authenticity here. I'm not sure what was used to sever them, but the cut looks strangely clean. Stick my hand up the horse head. It's gross, but this would be a great place to hide things. Oh, yeah. I see myself for putting one hand on the head and shoving the other up the severed neck. Ugh. Knew an animal head would be this heavy. It's like lifting a bucket of water. Uh, uh. After struggling, I tip the head on its side. So cream colored plastic objects shoved up the esophagus. What is that? I pull it out. I take a bite out of it. And I find a transistor megaphone. That's interesting. What in the hell? Megaphones are used a lot for school events and gatherings. So that's not surprising. What the hell was it doing up an animal's neck? Was there a need to hide it in an esophagus? Sakawa did bring countless animals here. Her bizarre and insane passion is obviously in this room. Mr. Shiki, uh, are you alright? I realize I'm just standing there holding a megaphone that's drenched in yellow liquid. Yeah, sorry. You want to hold this? Ew, no! Come on! Everything has a meaning. That's true, and this must be really important. Hmm, okay. 
Animal heads are mounted high up on the wall. You just can't distinguish animals' expressions, but all the heads look like they died in pain. It's my intestines over here. Look what is dripping from the mysterious organs hanging from the ceiling. Can I... Grab them? No? I can use these intestines in some ridiculous way. That might be everything that's in here. A transistor megaphone that was hidden inside an animal's head. There's still some battery power left. You can use it to yell loudly. So the frequency of sound waves, huh? Which is going to be, I guess, using this in some way. Ooh, yeah, I'm having a hard time sort of piecing together what, what the actual uh, way to appease this thing is, is going to be. Okay, now what? So maybe now we go back and go to this room here. So pencil and problem sheet on the desk. Who are we dealing with this time? I take a glance at the problem sheet. I see numbers and mathematical symbols. It seems to be a math test. Okay. I can math. Well, as long as it's not like, what's well, like the fucking first eight digits of pi. Probably should save real quick though. Not that confident in myself. Begin the test. Pick up the pencil and turn over the paper. Begin the test. Live or die hard. Question one. An ostrich can run from the first floor of the school to the second floor in three seconds. If the school had five floors, how long would it take for her to get from the first to the fifth? I was just going from the first of the floor to the second. Three seconds. Uh, 15. 15 seconds. Wait. Oh, I'm dead. Uh-oh. I hear creepy breathing behind me. Ah! <laughs> Ugh! Does she have like a weird like shark face or something? Ugh. Did I think about that correctly? Hold on. What? Oh, I think it's actually twelve. It's kind of it's kind of a kind of a tricky question. Yeah. Because you're going one to two, two to three, three to four, and four to five. That's that's four sets of floors. Question two, ostriches are extremely fast. They can, fucking ostriches again. They can run 60 kilometers per hour. How many seconds would it take to reach a human bait 30 meters away? Uh, that is, so a kilometer is a thousand meters. Ooh, I need, I actually need a calculator here. Let me see if I can fade the shit, shit out of here. I haven't, done a, I haven't done a question like this in a while. I always rather enjoy math problems and stuff. I mean, this is why I was a physics major. I was originally gonna be actually a chemistry major, but I realized I kind of enjoyed the math stuff more than the, uh, than like, especially when I hit O-chem, or organic chemistry. That's when I was like, nah, fuck this shit. Or organic chemistry had like no numbers. It was all like crazy picture logic. All right, so there's 3,600 seconds in an hour, 60 kilometers, which is 60,000 meters. Uh, yep, it's okay. We'll see what the thing is, it's about two seconds. Yeah, it's about, it's 1.8 seconds. Question three, an ostrich's kick is very strong. With an out and airbag, a human bait would die. Caution, when observing an ostrich strong, bring an airbag. Their specialty is kicking after taking a long, long, long running start. If an ostrich's speed is halved, how strong would their kick be? What? I'm guessing it's gonna be like, how how strong would their kick, would, would it also be half kind of thing, right? But I don't know if it's half as strong, a third as strong, a fourth as strong. I think it's a fourth. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Haha! -ha! I can still math. Huzzah. It seems we passed the test. At the end of the answer sheet. You disobeyed, teacher. You get a. Special test. Offense to the animal classroom. Uh, okay. Animal classroom. That's not that room dressed in blood, is it? Sounds like it. 
I'm slightly worried about the special part. Hope it's not some weird test. Like any of this has been normal, come on. That's probably exactly what it'll be. The answer for one of Mizzou's tests, the animal session is so strong to make a person dizzy. That's actually what all these are, huh? Oh, goody. Back we go. That was gonna be like a biology test. Oh, over here, one clean desk. There's pencil and paper prom, prom sheet in the desk. Take a glance at the prom sheet. It's like some kind of foreign language. Give me heads or tails of it. Oh, shit. I don't know what, what kind of test it is. I pick up the pencil and turn over the paper. But... Frazy? The entire test is written in a foreign language. Don't understand what any of it means. Just then, Hero mumbles next to me. Froggy one. Oh! It's German! Hey, I know German! At least some. Huh, it's in German. Can you read it? I took it in college, so I know a little bit. Oh, hey, okay, this, here's the section I need her for. Begin Well, say, Miss Sue does, uh, she does quite a bit of different, a very wide variety of subjects here. Good for her. Oh no, it's starting. It's been a while, but I'll try to read it. You write down the answers. Thank you. Okay. Interesting. So if you didn't, you probably have to come here. You didn't have her with you, right? So you would probably, it would probably just give it to you in German. You have to figure it out yourself. Or maybe you just lose. I don't know. Multiple choice social studies. It says it's a social studies test. Question one. Please answer the following. During the Pacific War, Japanese mainland was bombed and a shelter was built in each city. Choose the correct period of when the war took place out of the options below. That'd be this period, I believe. Yes, yeah, sorry. Okay, we're still based off, basing this off uh, an actual history. Japan conducted a surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, which started the war against the USA. Which phrase out of the ones below did the FTR use to describe the attack? Oh, um, if I recognize it. Never was so much owed by so many. A day which many will live in infamy. Everything we are have is, I think it's this. Yeah. We'll live in infamy. That sounds familiar. It's the last one. It's really short. In 1945, when the war ended, which country was allied with Japan? Oh, man. Italy, Britain. Was it Germany? It was Germany. Okay, I'm like, it was Germany, right? Yeah. Yeah. We managed to get through it somehow. At the end of the answer sheet. There's a test in the last empty room. Go take it immediately. Okay, then. Standard test questions. Not particularly elementary level, though. I just want to say thanks. No way I would have finished that test by myself. It was no big deal. There's one more test? Yeah, in the last empty classroom, apparently. Okay, let's go, then. Hmm. If it's the music room, then it might be like I might need. I actually might need uh, uh, the idol girl. I still haven't gotten the the shit hidden behind the snakes here. Do I need to like show them the uh, like maybe put like the answer sheet up here? Cause it stinks. Take out all the answers sheets and gather them up and hold them up to the bottle. Oh, I see something really smelly. Huh? The snakes clearly react to it. But unfortunately, that's all that happens. I wonder if it emits some kind of pheromone. What I have now doesn't seem effective. It might be different if I had more of them. Okay, I see. I gotta get one more. Th this is what I'm building towards. I thought I was about to like hit right into the end here. Like, the last test. Here we go. Time to die. Okay. Pencil and paper. What do we got? Glance the problem sheet. I see what it looked like a music test. I guess it's a music test. Yes. Okay. Had a feeling. We gotta peace out. We need we need the idol, I bet. I mean, maybe I could do it myself, but 
I'm not exactly... Well, I like music and I enjoy it a lot. I don't know if I'd know, I'd be able to uh, give a good, uh, I don't know, be able to answer questions about music theory. All right, come here, I. Yoka. Yoka. Let's give the old college try. Begin a test. Live or fuck. Uh, multiple choice music questions. Let's great Ashura the following questions. Animals can be controlled with frequencies. The experiment experiment was a success. Question one is about snakes. What sound are snakes scared of? Please great Ashura from the following. Oh God. Snakes are scared of a sound? The giant fish song, the starry sky song. They aren't scared. It's a trick question. Ha ha ha. They're scared of nothing. Question two is about pigs. What sound are pigs scared of? Please, great Ashra from the following. Are they also not scared? No! No, only snakes. The giant fish song, the starry skies. How the fucking dicks am I supposed to know? You're not helping at all, I? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Ah! Yeah, he's got like a weird, like, fucking shark face or something. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Yummy. All right. Uh, maybe the st Starry Sky song. God damn it. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to fucking know this. I real she has boobs, too. Shark boobs. I was thinking, well, like, maybe see it in the, the animal room, but I didn't see anything in the animal room. Like, I couldn't examine anything else. I don't think it would answer this. All right, obviously it's the giant fish song for pigs. Cause obviously scary, pigs do not like fish that are giant. Question three, seals. Dangerous tools are sealed. Which one is not sealed? Please, Great Ashra from the following. Megaphone? What the fuck? Which one is not sealed? Ow. I guess it must be the piano because the piano is open or it can be open. Damn it, I thought it was going to ask me another one of these and it was going to be the, the Starry Sky song. You know, process of elimination. Okay, I guess it must be piano. Fuck you, game. What the hell? How am I supposed to know what it's talking about here? What's not sealed? Isn't a harmonica sealed inside of a fucking little metal box? This just seems like random RNG bullshit. I, I can't, is there really something I missed? Is there something in my bag here that would like give me the answer to this? All I gotta say is thank God for multiple choice, right? Otherwise I'd be fucked. Yes, obviously it is a harmonica. I, I don't get this at all. I'm sure there's some reason behind it. At least I hope there is that you guys will, you guys can tell me about. You powerless. You cheated! Shut up! I died like five times for this. Passed. Did you just say we passed? Yeah, that's what I heard. When we pass. We finished every test and passed. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's hurry with our investigation. I have a feeling something is about to happen. We passed the test. Huzzah. We finished the tests and found the guard's pitiful corpse, but we passed all the tests and obtained five answer sheets. I'm sure we can use these horrible smelling papers somehow. The snakes in the hall reacted to the red notebook and it smelled similar. Are they the only places with the snake nests? These papers smell even stronger. They should have an effect. Yes, I figured that out. Thank you. All right, you bastards. Try this. I take out all the answer sheets that I have and hold them close to the model. And... Bah! Snakeheads poke out from the model and suddenly slither to the floor. Eek! Are they dangerous? That's yeah, fine, just a bunch of copperheads. Quickly wop the answer sheets and throw them through the window to the next, next, to the next room. Snakes chase after me. Ah! Damn, they love that smell. Soon there are none left inside the model. <laughs> what a surprise! I stick my hand in the model and feel around. Find a paper box and a key. Matches music room key. Hey, all right. Lost all the answer sheets. Damn it. 
Ugh. Oh god. Mark burn scarlet. Half an hour left until death closes in. Yeah, so much time passed already. I? I should call out to them. Alright, it's all mama's time to perform. It's okay. I'm on standby. It's starting. It's fucking begun. Her bra her brain's getting all crazy. Way to hurry and find a clues left. All right. The answer she's led us to the key to the music room hidden in the anatomy model. Now we can get in, but the sheet music concerns me. I should bring someone who's good at music. Hey, I'm already ahead of you. The mark warns the time is short, so if I'm going to the mansion, ask me now. Finish all the tests, so Miss Sue could strike at any moment. We need to be careful. Burr. All right, music room key. Got a piano, anything else? No? Oh, wait. Place is probably used to be full of desks, but now it only holds a single piano. Alright. Place the song, I. The keys are still intact. It's probably out of tune, but it's definitely playable. I check the music stand. There's a piece of sheet music on it. Sheet music carp streamer. So we got Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Carp Streamer. I never did check this thing out, the Great Ashura. I might need to head downstairs and check that shit out again. Actually, that might be it. I think I, uh, think I got everything in here. Oh, this is... Oh. I think this is the hint here. This is the hint here. Because this is Twinkle Twinkle. This is the starry song, right? The starry song. This is the one, the big fish song. This is the one that pigs would be afraid of for some fucking reason. And the snakes are not afraid of any song. Though, again, I almost feel like... I got that answer simply from trial trial and error. Was there something that actually told me what those answers were? Because these don't tell me, obviously. I mean, I got this after the fact anyway. Step in the hall and the last speaker cr uh, crackles. Do you have brains? I'll use those wonderful brains. No, as ingredients, I'll dissect you. Ah, she just says she'll dissect us for ingredients. She uses our wonderful brain's ingredients and dissect us, and that means that's why she had us take those tests. She wanted to see if we were worthy enough to become ingredients. Setting up tests to select her prey. That was what Miss Sue was trying to do. The heads line up in that bloodstained room. The image of my own head joining them comes to mind more easily than I'd like. Footsteps closing in. Uh oh. Sight, the road's crowded. Ah, right, get all of yourself. I shake eyes. Seems to be dreaming. Urgh. If you miss left till death closes in, we all fucking die today. Urgh. Slings rushing up the western staircase with amazing speed. Shit. I doubt I'll be able to escape. In that case, our only option is to... We'll ambush her. We'll hide so we can get the advantage. I grab Ai's hand and run down the hall. Which classroom should we hide in? The music room. Run to the music room. Hold up, though. H hold on. Okay, so... Yeah. She got like a pig nose and a shark mouth. Uh oh. Oh, she's over there. <laughs> Damn, looking sexy, baby. <laughs> Miss Zufa smiles at least four the second she sees us come out of the locker. She's coming closer on her ostrich legs. It's like she could jump at us at any moment. Okay, hold up. Hold up. I think I need to... There's something I didn't do that I, I literally realized that I didn't do. That I want to check. It might not be that I need to do this, but I, I feel, almost feel like I might be missing something that... 
it, seeing as it's saying the great Ashura, it almost it almost makes you think that this is actually potentially the thing that I also need to appease her. So it's like go downstairs, and then it will be in this room, or I guess probably more than this room. But the way the school's laid out, we should be right under the science storage room. That reminds me. There's a strange tag attached to the formal formalin container. Pretty sure it's said. Great Ashra down. Does that mean the Great Ashra is below? That tag will be referring to this room. I take a thorough look around the room. There aren't any suspicious spots here besides the trapdoor to the underground room. This is a school journal, a paper satiria from Agent Bugs, so I can't read it. It's a wall of n nothing on it. By all appearances, it looks normal. I tap around on the wall. I don't know why, but I've seen people on shows do it. I think that's how you check walls. Huh? I stares at me blankly. It's not super obvious, but the center portion of the wall seems paler than the rest. If only I had enough skill to be able to tell if it was hollow or not by sound. Thickness just feels kind of different to me. What should I do? Fuck, I'll tell you what I do. I'm gonna ha hammer this shit. Put the flashlight down and group it with both hands. This could call attention to me. This is where Hanahiko was. I don't think another spear would come here. I'll try just once. I'll take it down with one swing. Gather my courage and swing the hammer against the wall with all my might. Ah! <laughs> Funny punching sound. And a large hole, hole larger than I expected, opens up. I actually wait to see if I drew a spear close. Luckily, it doesn't seem like anything's coming. That went a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> I laughed uneasily. It's getting all loopy. I see wriggling in the darkness. Uh-oh. I don't have the answer sheets, though. Uh, wriggling in the darkness, huh? Hold up. Red notebook? Take out the red notebook. Damn it! I guess I'll just put my hand in there. I just let me stick my hand inside. Something cold coals around my fingers. Seems to stir up whatever is nesting in there. But don't deal with that first. We won't be able to check out the hole. Okay, red notebook? No? I'm supposed to not need the answer sheets for her, because I threw those away. I'm going to throw this shit in there. Whoa, what the hell did I just do? Did I actually do something? I reported the liquid from the clear bottle in the hole. Oh, I did! Shout out to the whole flail about a while, but then go back to normal. It's the it's it's the hole I opened with the hand. Oh, oh. Pour it's liquid in the... Oh, shit, I did do it. I, I, I was shocked. Matches. Take out the matches. I light one and throw it into the hole. Thor Blue Flame shoots out of the hole. Oh my god! The snakes ride around and vacate the end the hole on mass. They disappear in the cracks in the wall and beyond the doorway. Oh wait, I didn't set fire to whatever's in there. After the wave of snakes vanishes, I find something on the floor. Must have been carried out of the nest when the snakes fled. Aizen Ashra's talisman. But it looked like the snakes brought the talisman on purpose when they fled the hole. Like they were scared of it burning in the fire. Were they trying to protect it from the flames? Must be something really important then. An old Shinto charm found in, found hiding in the storage room wall. Eyes and Ashra is embroidered on the bag. Inside is paper with an abstract human on it. Hold up charm. Hmm. Okay, that seems like that is uh, gonna be helpful. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? I actually can't use the Eisen charm. From a distance, too. Let's see if we see any combos here. Eisen, oh, Eisen Ashra's charm and matches. That's a combo, so I can I can set fire to it. I think this one might take a little trial and error here. I guess I might as well see what happens there. I feel like this is probably, this pro probably don't do this like the start of the fight. Try to ignite the Eisen Ashra's charm with a match. It wasn't effective. Mizu shrieks in rage when she sees the charm engulfed in flames. Dash the force a jump kick. Ah, oh, bleh, dead. Kukamonikata. 
Jindarks, I see a spear slowly drawing closer. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. I'm going to imagine it's going to have to do with the music. Let's try doing... I'll play Carpenter Street play Lullaby. There's Rooster Piano to play the song. Gotta, gotta get past Mizzou first. We do better to distract Mizzou or we'll die before we can reach the piano. Uh, okay, so that's how that works. All right. Ah, blah, blah, blah. This is definitely gonna take some trial and error on this one, man. Uh, it sucks I have to sit through this every time, though. All right, how about the clear liquid and the match? It's got a liquid and ignite with the matches. Dash supports a jump kick. It. She didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Didn't give a shit, okay. Oh, oh, a trash bag found in the cabinet in the storage room is full of shrub. It'd almost, you'd seen it, you'd almost be a plump cushion. Here we go. I need this as an quote unquote air bag. Then light a match. It wasn't effective, ha ha. Hold the garbage bag in front of us and endure the fierce kick by cushioning the blow. Her arm snake snakes hiss, threatening us. Okay, all right. So now I have to. I see. Okay. I get it. So now we're gonna take the clear liquid in the match. Th this is where we do this one. Clear liquid, match. Scattered liquid ignite with the matches. Ha ha! Six are confused by the massive flames. We're able to aim. Ugh, getting close. Right in her face. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Actually, I think she has like a dog nose. Now I see it. Maybe we want want to put the the floral fragrant thing in her mouth. Her, her nose now. This was has like a has a fresh floral scent. Maybe a hatch to the face. Floral scent wafts from the liquid. Miss Sue sniffs deeply with her huge nose. She seems to enjoy it. The snakes wrap around my arms and I swing and stop my attack. And then I died. She seems like she liked that smell, apparently. Okay. Ow! Do I need to hold up the charm to distract her or maybe put this? She says she thinks it smells nice. It's probably not gonna be enough to distract her though. Maybe I need to hold up the charm and then have her play Carp Streamer. Can that, can that be enough? Wasn't effective. Mizzou glares daggers at me and screams, her mouth dripping with blood. Mizzou is stuck in place. We can get to the piano now. Oh, here we go. Ice fingers dance over the keys. Uh. Mizzou stiffens as if she's paralyzed. Mizzou is weakened. All right. The Ashra charm and maybe this is where I match it. Maybe. Mizzou shrieks when she sees the charm go up in flames. She leans on to me, scrambling to get it back from me. Gah. Pressed together, my sweet sweat squelches as it mixes with their bodily fluids. Gross. Hustle rises and strum disintegrates to ash from Mizzou's hands and scours into the air. Her eyes pin me in place with their intense fury. How dare you! How dare you! Six of Mizzou's arms raise their heads and swiftly strike at their prey. But their fangs sink in two. <laughs> Mrs. Torso. Why? Snakes are fe feasting on the place where she's touched my skin. Is it because of my human smell? They devour her torso, the only part of her that is human, and she squeals with joy. Feels so. Good. That was actually the, the thing to appease her spirit. Interesting. After consuming their host, the snake arms attach and fall to the ground. Wriggling their half-torn bodies, they vanish into the darkness. Interesting. That was actually the... I, I thought, actually thought I was about to destroy her. What was the one to destroy her then? Maybe it had to do with the megaphone? Cool. Interesting. I'm not even totally sure what happened there. So we burned Ashura. And wait, she said that... 
It says the skins are the snakes are feasting, which I think it said feasting on the places where she touched my skin. Oh, because the, the part she it's sort of confusing when it says that way. The parts she touched my but not my skin. She's saying that this parts of her body that touched him. So his human smell got her on her, I guess. And devour her torso. The only part of her that is human, she squeals with joy. And that's what she wanted? Oh, this was kind of like uh, Shimio in some ways, where again, it's like, it's a little hard to decipher exactly what it is that she, what was her like grand desire that she wanted? She wanted to become, I mean, clearly she wanted to be a servant to Ashra Aizen, right? Turn herself into a demon to and, and worship of this crazy god of hers. So maybe she felt like she was at becoming a sacrifice to them, to, to Ashra. Anyway, I don't sense Mizzou anymore. D did we do it? Eyes back to normal. Her mark is probably gone. But not me! As expected, mine is still there. So there's still spirits in the city. The look on my face is probably obvious. I looks at me apologetically. It's fine, I'm used to it by this point. <laughs> I've gotten used to it. I'm just glad you and y Yasuka are safe now. Mr. Shiki. Anyway, I wonder what this is. There's a fold of paper on the ground where Miss Sue vanished. I open it and find it's an old map. Shine the flashlight on it. The first word that I can see is army. Is this what Miss Harusa was stolen from her? It could be. I put the map in my bag. We finally bid farewell to the music room and its beast and perfume smell. And this fucking school. Wait a second. And this is where she probably normally die, right? What is it? I want to bring that sheet music. A reminder of my music beating evil. You know, this would make a great inspiration for a new song. I kind of don't want to linger here. <laughs> Whenever that happens, I usually get a bad ending. Yeah, yeah, I'll just be too sex. Hey. I dash this back inside the music room before I can say anything in reply. Jeez. She totally does whatever she wants. Chris was the same way. So what happens when you become famous? No, I'm being unfair. Yeah! Holy shit, that was so much louder than any other part in the game. Oh my god. Mr. Shiki! I burst out of the room and clings to me. What happened? A, a snake! It fell from the ceiling, hit my shoulder, and slipped down my back! We had like 30 billion of them earlier, right? One is freaking you out? She's nearly in tears. Okay. Feel around her back. She hangs on me. There's nothing there. Huh? Nothing's there. You can let go already. When you grab my neck, it's hard to... Oh! Sorry. Uh, but I was telling the truth. I definitely felt something. Maybe it fell off as you were running. So did you grab the sheet music? Oh, yeah. That's all done. Sorry to make you wait. Madam Yasuoka and Miss Hero expecting us. Let's head back. That's where she would have fucking eaten shit, right? Leave the school, climb into the car, and head to the mansion. Hey, all, we're back. Oh, welcome back. I believe I must thank you. My mark has indeed vanished. I still have mine, though. <laughs> I, I mean, not that I believe it's going to kill me or anything. It doesn't bother me at all. Well, lady, really, calm down, all right? I've had mine for, like, fucking four chapters now, all right? You don't know shit. She talks up, but the whole time she's just clenching her teeth. More importantly, Mr. Yoshiki, does Zukawa have anything on her? You mean this? I pulled the old map out of my bag. Yes, that's it. It's an important family heirloom. Hiro snatches the map out of my hand without even so much as a thank you. Oh, hmm. I guess you deserve a reward. Have this instead. She takes a purple notebook from her, la from her coat. The color's different, but the design matches the red notebook we found in the shelter. Ah. The Sukawa's diary. It was in her room. Looks like she was still the same when she wrote, it, wrote in it. Take the notebook from her. It seems Miss Sue was interested in that map of yours, Miss Hiro. Could you tell us more about it? 
No. It's basically just a treasure map. Well, now I want to know even more. We should have taken a look earlier. The clock begins to chime. It's almost dawn. Everyone should get, go get some sleep. You can use any room on the second floor. But you have to get the fuck out of here the next day. Thank you. That would be lovely. And lady, can you put your arms down? So that does not look comfortable. Also, I, Yasuoka, he must leave the mansion tomorrow. There's no need for you to stay here now that your mark is gone. Oh dear. Are you telling me to leave you and Miss Heru here by yourselves? Please don't joke. Saya specifically requested my assistance. I'm grateful, really. But those who have escaped the mark should return to their normal lives. That's the dying wish of Saya Kujo, and Mary's as well. But... Yes, Oka, I'd like you to help out another way. I'm sure you know other people in the supernatural phenomenon field. Can you research the mark with your knowledge and connections? An investigation like that is beyond me. I know practically zero about spirits. This is the only thing I can think of. If Mary was still here, it'd be different, but... Yasuoka stares at me silently. I stare right back into her eyes, not turning away. <sighs> Fine. I'll leave the legwork to the young. I'll do what I can to help. Time to go to Google! Besides, if I stay behind, I'm sure Miss I would want us to as well. Actually, now I think about it, Google hasn't been invented yet. It's the fucking 90s. I'm counting on you. Of course, I won't let you down. Her voice and posture exude confidence and reliability. Which is a good part of why she's so successful as a fortune teller. However, I shall rest for today. These old bones are exhausted. Good night. You didn't even do anything, late. You didn't even do anything today. Mr. Yoshiki! Are you sure you'll be okay without me and Madam Yosoka? Yeah, I've survived this long already. Figure if I was gonna die, I would have died by now. Actually, I have died now, so I think about it. I've died like 30 times, but that's not the point. I'll manage somehow. Unease is bubbling up within me, but I push it down and force a smile. I can't let her worry about me. Okay, then I'll trust you. But you better promise me. When your mark is gone, you'll come to one of my concerts. Promise? Oh, no. God, do I have to? Please. Music was awful. Heard you singing earlier and made my ears bleed. Come on! Ah, oh, fine. Ugh, it's just get, all you're doing is give me another way to fucking die. You know, you know that, right? Okay, I'll pass if I get a VIP pass. Of course, I'll get you front row seats for sure. Damn, I someone should say no to that. <laughs> okay, I'm heading up. Get up, Mr. Shiki. Jeez, so you're saying I have to stay? Not that I care. Though you didn't believe in the Mark's curse because it's unscientific. Of course. There's no way in hell I believe something like that. But... It's also true that I haven't found solid proof to deny it either. And Miss Yakuoka and Miss Ai's marks really did up and disappear. So I've just had to stay here and see how this plays out. That's all. It's the truth. I can see she's definitely trying to hide that she's terrified of the supernatural. Ah, huh, well. I owe you for saving me, so I'll tell you a bit about it. It could be related to the mark somehow, too. Are you talking about the map? Yeah. It's of an underground shelter in each city. The only way Sukawa found that shelter was because of this map. I'm not sure why she'd be eager for an old map of facilities that have to be 50 years old. That's a secret. It's just... It's possible that... Whatever turns Sukawa into a monster is down there in that shelter. Is this back at the place we were before down the manhole? What? What do you mean? I've already told you that I have no intention of giving you many details. I'm tired too, so I'm going to bed. Hero makes her way upstairs to the, through the rooms. The end of our last conversation swirls around in my head. The shelter, army, Sakawa transforming. And the deja vu I felt down in the shelter. What does it all mean? It's no use. My brain is so tired that the words just repeat nonsensically over and over. I can't get my thoughts in order. May as well go to bed for today. The Road to Madness! For the next chapter with Tom, I'm gonna talk to the chair. Okay, footsteps close the end. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, again, like, it gives us these, like, like, it updates the moment we're attacked, but the, pro the funny thing is, I don't think we can actually look at this. Actually, wait. 
No, yeah, I can. I could have looked at this. I keep forgetting. It. I should. I, I, I just need to go through here. You can look in your bag and that opens this menu. Personal claws of fangs. Yeah, yeah. Heat light sound. Oh, it, that is it. it. Says I also heard that loud noises at close range can be deadly. All right, the road to madness. Look through the diary who found in Sakawa's room. It holds her thoughts from her human days and offers glimpses into the events that led up to her transformation. It starts with a recollection of her childhood. She repeatedly asked her parents and teachers why she was human. Soon her peers shunned her. Sakawa was exceedingly intelligent but hated people. On the other hand, she loved animals, gathering many and keeping them hidden while she cared for them in an abandoned house. To her surprise, she eventually fell in love with someone, but when he conf when she confessed, he said he didn't like people who reeked of animals. That night, the abandoned house burned down in fire. The diary never mentions the cause of the fire, but I remember something about a fire in, oh right, Sukawa's red notebook. The school science lab, her paradise with her beloved animals, also burned down in a fire. That's a weird coincidence. The diary moves past her youth to her time as a researcher after she left the school. That's when she and Hiru worked at the same place. An encounter with Menace, I hate people. She wrote that every day. The hatred solidified when she met M.H. M.H. is probably Hiru. She pretended to get along with her colleague, but the diary lays out her overwhelming hatred of people, especially Hiru. The only interest she took in Hiru's biological research was the human experiments to enhance human abilities and strength. She desired to cooperate every questionable human experiment, even saying she would be a test subject herself. There's no mention of where she learned all this information, but there are some familiar scribbles at the end of the diary. Army, manhole, underground shelter. Image's map, Ashura. I bet Image's map is the one Sukawa stole from Hiru of the shelter. And the onset of madness. The woman in white with a Buddha statue. Sukawa going in and out of the shelter. Something in there must have turned her into a Miss Sue. Eyes in Ashura. I must connect to the statue somehow. The diary ends with these words. The previous world war with the Buddha's wisdom. I'll no longer be an abhorrent human. Body and soul, barriers broken, open the door to a new world. That was an interesting fight, though. I'm actually, I'm proud of myself at least for, for figuring that one out, you know? I say I have all of them. That was probably one of the more, like, I don't know, it seemed like the, one of the tougher ones. Took a little trial error. I still have no idea how the hell you're supposed to beat that one test before, but... All right, let's, uh... Go to sleep. I'm not very to hear more, so I'm gonna just have the... Imagine the sofa is telling me to go to sleep. So I to rest now. Miss Zoo went to the zoo for good. It's funny, Miss Zoo seemed a lot. It's, but Miss Zoo seemed a lot scarier when she was just like a silhouette in a window, right? But when we actually saw her, actually saw her up close, she was actually she's actually probably up close the least scary of the monsters. <laughs> funny enough, everything's always scarier when you can't see it well enough, right? Uh, it's been nearly a day since we found Mary. We're like a boat adrift in the ocean without a compass to guide us. Who knows where the currents will take us? We find salvation at the end. Hey, Mr. Yashiki. Looks like we wasted a whole day. Is it going to be like this every day? If you're done checking in here, why don't we take a look outside? Mary said unnecessary contact with outsiders could speed up the Mark's curse. If I lose any more of my memories, I'm not sure I'll be able to function. For the past ten days, the only other person I've spoken to is the convenience store clerk. Ah, oh, that explains why we've only had TV, TV dinners and snack food to eat. But sitting and waiting isn't going to accomplish anything. I'd rather not wind up forgetting my own name, like you. Not that I completely believe the curse thing is real. She raised her voice to hide how it shakes. She's still stubbornly sticking to her denial of the existence of spirits in the mark. But now she's already accepted it. After all, she went through it herself last night. Ghosts and curses don't exist. Why does this have to happen to me? Who the fuck is it? Ah! You were startled at the sudden knock. I visit in the middle of the night. I don't even marry to know it's a mark bearer. Who the fuck is it this time? All right. Uh, sorry to pose on you so late. Uh, it is a doctor. A tall, thin man walks in. His skin is as white as a sheet, and the dark circles nearly swallow his eyes. It's almost like a dead person stands before us. You're Yashiki in here, right? I heard about you in the mark from Yasuoka before I came here. Something about a Miss Zoo, too. Sounds like you had a rough night. He seems to know Yasuoka. Maybe she's following through on her promise and sent him to help us. Well, let's get introductions done. I'm Shuji Daman. I think you can guess my occupation. Wearing this thing means I don't have to explain. Thank goodness. 
He gestures to the stethoscope around his neck. What kind of business brings a doctor like you here? Damon's eyes flicker over that at the suspicion in Hero's tone. No need to be so defensive. I have the cursed scar, same as you, the mark. He unbuttons his shirt to reveal a familiar mark on the left side of his chest. It suddenly appeared one day. Though, to be honest, I never thought it happened to me. Maybe it's punishment for being stupidly curious about it. Curious? Did you know about the mark before Yasuoka told you about it? Yeah, that's right. There's mention of a string scar on my grandpa's records as a military physician. I did some personal research. Military physicians' records would mean they'd be from the Second World War, more than 50 years ago. But that doesn't add up. This might also explain why we got questions about that in the one of the the last tests, we're, right, with uh, Miss Zhu. Why I was referring to WW2. Remember, the mark only started about a month ago. If it was mentioned in those records, the rumors would be much older. There's a reason for that. Patients with the symptoms were kept in a secret army laboratory. After the war, all top secret documents related to the lab were burned. Except the clinical records I found. A secret lab, huh? It's kind of hard to believe. Dr. Diamond, you don't mean to say. I thought the mark was just some sort of biological weapon. Every country had at least one or two soldiers who were divinely possessed. People only call on gods when they're in trouble. It was the end of the war. And they were backed in a corner. How unscientific. Don't you think so, Mr. Shiki? Yeah, whatever. True, it kind of is. We can't deny it's, a pos it's possible. I don't know yet. Can I? It's possible. What? Are you serious? I can see why Yasuoka gave you her stamp of approval. The way you consider every possibility is, indeed, admirable. That open-mindedness must allow you to face the supernatural. However, it's hard to picture the mark being used as a weapon. It seems the 13th Army Engineering Lab was developing something. It was called the Cannon Soldier. Cannon soldier. It makes me think of the boat of Bohiv Satva cannon. Fifty years ago, and the Buddha statues. Campy. Doctor Damon, where is that lab? Unfortunately, I have no idea. Sorry. The documents my grandfather kept don't give any details about it. I see. Hey, Mr. Yashiki, that 13th Army Engineering Lab is the shelter that Zukawa went to. She pulls out her old map. I'd wanted to keep it a secret, but as I'd rather not die from this mark, I'll tell you. This shows the entrance to the 13th Army Engineering Lab. Whoa, are you serious? <coughs> In his excitement, he starts coughing. My apologies. Where did you get that, Hiru? My grandfather passed six months ago. We were sorting his belongings. Isn't the idea of a secret lab just fascinating? So I thought I'd look into it. And then Miss Zhu, Zukawa, stole it. I accidentally let it slip to her. She loves strange experiments like that, so it probably stuck with her. I thought as much, though. Whatever turned her into a monster is down in that secret lab. It's a pretty unscientific line of reasoning. Y using the occult to turn yourself into a monster is utter nonsense. But if there's a scientific method behind it, I'll have to consider it. I suppose that's just how she is. Was your grandfather involved with the lab in some way, Hiru? Hmm, he could have been. All I know is he was an engineer with the rank of captain. Wait, hold on. 
You're both grandchildren of people involved with the engineering lab. And now both of you have the mark. Yes, that would be correct. That and our lab coats are probably all Hiru and I have in common. From what we understand, people with the mark appear in the secret lab 50 years ago. There might be something there that'll help us find the truth behind the curse. Or this also ties to, again, the... So if it was... En this is actually something that was seemingly engineered. In some way. But that also explain then, like, why did, uh, potentially... Mary... Have the, the mark, right? Or, we'll have the mark and then lose it, too. Unless that's like a separate... Maybe that was another doll? Is that possible? Because we... He said we didn't see the mark on Mary's arm. That's also the origin of the cannon soldier. A name that reminds me of a statue. The traces of Mizu in the shelter. It might all be connected to the Buddha statues that were stolen from a shrine. Dr. Damon gave us a lot of info. We'll have to thank Yasuoka for introducing him to us. The fates are indeed mysterious. Dr. Damon, will you help us? Yes, of course. Just don't expect anything physical. Are you sick? You don't look so well. Yes, something like that. I don't practice what I preach. <laughs> his dry laugh sounds like he's deflecting. He's abnormally thin for a man his age. It's possible he's gravely ill. In which case, getting rid of the mark might not really uh, make too much of a difference here. So we're headed to the shelter. About that. We were stopped from going further by a locked door. A strange old man was there too. I doubt he'll cooperate with us though. It'll be different, difficult to break in from there. Hmm. Where did you enter the shelter? A manhole on K Miyamachi North Road. Hmm, I see. She opens the map and studies it. You're right, an entrance is there. But there seems to be one other one. It's at M no South Alley. Have you tried going there? No, not yet. Then let's go there. Hopefully we can get in. Rumors of the Cannon Soldier. Yasoka sent a new mark bearer, da Damon, to the mansion. He talks about a mysterious being called the Cannon Soldier he learned from the chemical records during World War II. Those documents also mention a scar similar to the mark. Everyone who ha had it worked in a specific army research facility. They developed the cannon soldier there at the end of the war. I don't really know what the cannon soldier is, but if everyone involved in the research got the mark, then I can't help but think they were trying to make a spirit into a weapon. But why would Damon, grandson of a researcher, and Hiru, granddaughter of a lab engineer, suddenly get the mark now? Did the soldier's curse spread to the descendants or, descendants or something? And then there's that 13th Army engineering lab. Hiru agrees to tell us more about it. Her old map is of that lab, the same underground shelter we broke into earlier. The key to Zakawa's transformation in the stolen statues is likely there. So we'll have to go back again. The map shows another entrance on an M New Sh South Alley. Let's try looking around there this time. Kind of curious here. The sickly doctor. His <laughs> joining, joining sound is coughing. Yeah, he has, a, he has the weakest power of four. Good intelligence, though. Very little spirit power. Very surprisingly good dexterity, too. Um, well, all right, guys. I think this is probably a good spot to end things here for now. I think this is actually the final chapter, well, of what would be the normal base game. I think you guys sort of mentioned that, so in order to actually, like, get the true ending of the game, you have to save everybody, right? And I think that leads to essentially an extra chapter. So this essentially is, like, the, the final moment. So if you didn't save anybody, or, or I guess you failed to save even one person, if you got to this point, I guess you can't actually get the good ending. I don't know, maybe there's, like, a normal ending or something here, and then a bad ending? Or maybe it's just just a bad ending and a good ending, who knows? In which case, it might be worth failing at the end of this one just so I can potentially see what the bad ending would be, but if there is one. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite, and subscribe if you're not already. Become a picky penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, Stay classy!